everyone, Lo here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my favorite kind of video, a Generation 1 My Little Pony unboxing. Woo! I've got a lot of packages here, some small ones, some very big ones. So let's just get started. If you've been around for a while then you know uh, how I do it, but um, this is all that I ordered myself on like mostly on eBay and eBay Kleinanzeigen. I'm from Germany um, and I always wait to have like to have like a couple of packages to unbox them together with you. I always have them like already opened uh, so I don't struggle with you know opening uh, the packages up in the video and of course I always peek inside. What is it? It's a pony. Okay then it's for my pony haul because I also order other stuff and you know, now I had to divide it because I also have some Polly Pockets ordered, but that will be another video. So today is all about G1 My Little Ponies and I guess I just start with this little box here. So let's say, let's see which ponies are waiting in here. Oh, is it one pony or is it yeah, it's more ponies? Although it's the smallest, probably the smallest uh, box that I have today. Yeah. Ponies. Uh, to be more precise, uh, two newborn twins. I don't have many newborn twins, so that's uh, still something that I'm on the hunt for. And when I saw these two pop up uh, on uh, eBay Kleinanzeigen, I think uh, together for 15 euro, that was like just like wow, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, these are, I'm not good with the pony names concerning the twins, but I think. Dicky and Sniffles. Um, let me check. I wrote down which pony is which of those. Sticky is the one with white hair, and this is also uh, supposed to be white, so it, it's not uh, faded or anything. So Sticky and Sniffles is the one with blue hair. Uh, they are from the second set of uh, newborn twin uh, baby ponies, uh, which was just normally released over here. Uh, in Europe, because the first set is quite difficult to get over here, so I. I think only a couple of them were released in Europe. Um, these ones you see pretty much all the time, but I really like to get um, twin ponies together and not buy one of them because they often are sold together. Uh, so it would be like strange to buy one and then hope to find the other one. So I mainly just get them in, in a double pack. So they are from year six of generation one, My Little Pony. That means they are from um, 87 till 88. Uh, the previous owner has braided the hair, so I think, because that kind of keeps the hair really good. So I think the hair will be pretty smooth and everything. Still a little bit dry in the ends, which is totally normal. They both have the same, kind of the same, I think the same symbol and also the same body color. Um, different hair color and their um, um, poses are different. So this one has the front hoof up and this one does not. So this is also a little difference that you can see. Uh, they are really, really sweet. Uh, how could you resist <laughs> these faces? Uh, so sticky and sniffles. Let's get to the next package. I don't know, this one here. Which pony is it? Because, you know, I have looked inside, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago when when it arrived, but then I don't know which pony is it, which box. What is this? Ah, yes! I think this pony has been waiting for the longest time now here. <laughs> um, this is actually something that I ordered, yeah? I ordered it from the US because it was so cheap. Uh, the pony I got for two euro fifty or something, two or maybe it was two dollar fifty. Then it would be even less. And then there was not a lot of shipping on it, maybe around 10, 12 euro shipping. And um, I also didn't have to pay any kind of customs or anything because it was I don't know maybe I was lucky or because it was so cheap. Um, it's a flutter pony. And I'm really close on completing uh, the Flutter Pony set. So let's let's have a look. Ah. 
So this is Lily. Uh, yes, the head is a little bit loose, but I can I could also glue it on. Um, I don't know why it was so damn cheap because hair still long. Um, sure, she doesn't have a lot of wings, but. 99% of the ponies, uh, of the flutter ponies you get don't have flutter wings, so I don't know why she was so super cheap. Um, Lily is from the first flutter pony set, so from year, oh, is it even year four? I think it's year four, so 85, 86. Um, she was not released in Germany, so she's one of the flutter ponies that you actually never see like just normally in, in Germany here, because we in Germany we just got flutter ponies when uh, the second set was released and then they just brought in I think two from the first set and the four from the second set and uh, Lily is one that I think she she, she was available in other European countries um, so I also saw her like I don't know I, I could have gotten her from France uh, etc but then like the American like pony online was the cheapest one so now I have her she's really sweet um, she has this lovely uh, pink body color, which is a little bit more um, on the purple side. Uh, as all of the first Flutter ponies, she has um, she has flower symbols, and this one is also at her forehead. It, as she's called Lily, so I guess these are lilies. <laughs> uh, the, the gap in the head, uh, I don't care actually. Maybe I want to glue it a little bit on, then it's not as noticeable anymore. But if you style the hair nicely, then it's also not noticeable. And yeah, I've heard that there are like different versions um, of Flutter ponies, some with like big head and with smaller head. Uh, I have no idea because I have nothing to compare her to, but that's something like a misery. Uh, that that's super uh, intriguing to me super interested maybe I want to have different versions of the flutter ponies because I love them so much uh, which package do I take now let's let's just this big one it's so big I don't know maybe there are more ponies in than one oh it's, it's pink inside <laughs> oh no it's just one pony Ah yeah, I remember. Um, from this seller I also bought a Polly Pocket, but I have taken it out already, so it will be in my next Polly Pocket unboxing. Um, oh, such a beautiful color combination. This is nice and spicy. And yeah, the pony is called nice and spicy. <laughs> Some ponies have the strangest pony names, especially some of the later ones. I don't know, it's, it's not a really nice name, nice and spicy. But. Lovely! This, this, this purple uh, body color with the soft pink hair is amazing. Uh, nice and spicy from the Cookery Ponies. The Cookery Ponies are actually a set that. I never really had like like big like visions for completing. I want to have them because they were just like I got one at my in my super early stages of, of of collecting randomly. Then I had one in a like like bait lot you could say. And now if, as I'm like uh, watching like like which which pony sets could I get? Which pony sets should I complete? This one is now really high on my wish list because the two ones that were missing like this one and the last one I was so beautiful. Um, so vanilla treats is still missing for me. Um, nice and spicy, uh, a European set, the cookery ponies from year 10, so um, 92, 93. Uh, late set uh, is a lot of the Euro exclusive ponies. Um, one that has like a crazy like gimmick or something. A lot of the late pony sets have like crazy gimmicks, like the hairdo ponies or something. They are just um, you know sweets themed. So this looks like a tart, <laughs> like a like a cake tart something. Um, the others have like muffins and and, and, and the birthday cake and stuff like that. They actually came with little um, aprons. These are almost impossible to get. Um, I've seen one uh, selling uh, on, I think on eBay or Kleinanzeigen for, oh, at least the seller wanted 
I don't know, 50 euro or something for just a small apron, I might just um, do some aprons myself for them. So, um, some, some replacement ones. Oh, she's, oh, she's, she's, she's amazing. I, I can't, can't get enough of this color combination. <sighs> nice and spicy. Excited, excited. Which, which, which one next? This one. Ah, yeah. This is um, also from uh, America. So there are quite some packages that came um, over the pond, or at least then that are not from Germany. Um, this one was also like I usually like don't get a lot from 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 like outside of um, Germany because of the high shipping costs and then you have to pay additional costs and blah blah blah. This one was super reasonable and it's a mail order pony in there and uh, this is quite special. Uh, I have to say this pony uh, unboxing will be in general quite special because I have quite some special ponies um, and mail order ponies for me are always super special because in Germany we didn't have the mail order system at all so they are not really commonly uh, found here but oh this is, this is <laughs> looks like two bags of sweets there are two uh, baby ponies this one is not as rare or anything and she's also not rare but she's the mail order pony she is one of the Valentine's twins. Um, let me get her out. I think she doesn't even have a name. It's just Valentine twin. <laughs> um, really cute. The eyes a little bit scratched. I can definitely um, do some touch-ups here. Uh, here is a little bit thin, so maybe I just might root some of that hair color. I think I have it, um, and then she will be amazing again. Um, she's just, she's just. This is my favorite baby pony pose, the baby blossom pose, and um, this is from year. So this is from '89. So one of the later mail order ponies. Uh, I said twin. Yes, there is actually another one. I think this one is. Um, like you, you see it more often online and the other one is more rare. The other one is purple with pink hair. So like, you know, this color combination here. Uh, and this one's white with this uh, neon pink red hair. She's got a uh, heart and like, it looks like a rainbow, but just with pink and red, so super Valentine-y colors. And I got her for 18 euro, which I, or not 18 dollars, which is like 15 euro around. So I think that's quite reasonable for a mail order pony. I would probably never get that over here for that price, and you don't see it over here. Um, yeah, the eye a little bit scratched, but so cute! Oh my goodness, super special. And <laughs> I just love what the seller did. It looks like oh, here is your uh, sweets delivery, and makes sense because this pony is called baby sweet stuff well I said she's not that rare or anything over here in Europe she is because she's from a set that was never released over here she's from the peekaboo baby ponies let me check oh she's got a, like a doll I would say on her or a is it is it a girl no I think it's supposed to be a doll uh, and yeah, this is the feature of the peekaboo baby ponies. Their head uh, is not um, like glued on at the same position. It's it's a little bit more like a ball joint. Oh, it is a ball joint because I opened up one of them um, to rehair it. It's not that easy, but it can be done uh, with this little uh, guy here. And these um, uh, playtime baby brothers. Two of them are the only kind of peekaboo style baby ponies that has um, that have made it to Europe actually in the release uh, back then. Uh, but there was a whole set of peekaboo baby ponies, like four girls and two boys, um, here in the US. And some of them are a little bit more rare. I think this one is not, but it's the first one that I have from the set. There you go. Here's a little spot. I mean, it, the ponies are old and I'm not a piggy collector. She has pink hair, uh, a little forelock here, and a light pink body, almost 
like more salmony color and I think that's a little like a doll like a baby doll or whatever and tuck, they can peek <laughs> around and like up, up high lower to the side really sweet and I mean they used the mold of uh, one of the um, first tooth baby ponies so I think it's a baby tic-tac-toe mold um, and just stuck a different like head like um, um, connection on it so so it, the head is connected a little bit different to the body oh I mean they're not the twins but for me, they are the twins right now. <laughs> Although, hey, let's get to another package. Oh, which one? Which one? I don't know. Let's let's get this one or this one. Let's let's get this one. So a small phone in here. <sighs> yeah, this is one of the ponies that I said is super special in this uh, as. It is actually the same, like the pony that I, um, I think, have paid the most money on ever. <laughs> this came in this super little envelope here. I mean, but it arrived. Everything's fine. I bought it from the UK. It's a mail order pony. Um, and. And it completes the Flutter Pony set for me. Ah! Um, yes, I am a Flutter Pony completist. Yes! No, what? This is Hollywood. Um, Hollywood is the only mail order Flutter Pony that has ever been released. As I said, mail order has never made it to any of the. Um, European, maybe to some of European countries, but definitely not in Germany. And in general, mail order ponies are more thought after, more rare, etc. So when I saw this one popping up on eBay from the UK, uh, I was like, hmm, maybe I should try uh, bidding on it. It was an auction. I won her for 51 uh, pounds, which already makes it more in euro because pounds is less, and euro is more than it's like I don't know. 60 euro or something. Then on top of that the shipping was not that reasonable, although it's from Europe, but it was like, I don't know, 20, 25, or I don't know what it, what it was, euro shipping. And then I had to pay because the whole pony, the whole thing I bought was already expensive, like maybe again 25 or something um, on top. So it came to, when I put everything together and make it to euro, it's almost 100 euro, which I have never <laughs> paid for a pony. And this is actually way out of my comfort zone. But I figured I would probably never get this pony for a like reasonable price. And it is a special pony. And um, it even comes with flutter wings. Not the original ones, no, not the original ones. It is also rehaired, um, which I don't mind. I mean, I mean, I like it when it's a rehaired pony because then it has nice hair. It originally came in this uh, white hair color, so it's not faded. It didn't come with fading pink. It is white. Let me put the wings on her. The wings are also like replacement wings. Oh, but they look gorgeous. So. Hollywood. She is a very dark magenta. Uh, color and her symbols are four glittery silver stars and another star is at her cheek and mail order uh, the only flutter pony ever released as a mail order um, actually more or less in a um, like advertisement for the my little pony movie from L, when is it 86 i think um, because you know the flutter ponies are in that movie they are rescuing uh, pony land she's not in the movie so she's not a character that appears in the movie but um, yeah that was like the question who is rescuing pony land and the answer was the flutter ponies and then you could get this pony I'm like I can't even like say the wings are like amazing I mean I have one pair of original flutter wings they just look 
exactly the same. <sighs> I just, I just still can't believe it that I have the complete Flutter Pony set. Now I have to get wings. There's no way around it, I have to get wings. Um, there are two more official ponies in the Flutter Pony mold. Dibbles and nibbles, no, I don't know what they are called. Dabbles, dabbles and dibbles. <laughs> um, also like super, super rare um, uh, mail orders, but they don't have the the thing to put flutter wings in it so they don't count as flutter ponies so that's what i'm just saying flutter ponies they are right up there can you see them there they are i'm just so happy so i guess there are a couple more small packages but I also have two very big ones. Let's just uh, grab one of the big ones. Mm. Oh, no, uh, I didn't shop at Lush, but the, the one, the person I bought this from probably did. <laughs> A lot of packing stuff. I think I put it here. And what could be uh, the reason for that? It's such a big box. Yeah, it's a playset. So let me get this out. Oh. Lush. This is the leftover of the box. There's even a Lush product in there. Lime Bounty Body Buffer. Mm, mm, such a, mm, that, that matches my, my bows here. Oh, that smells amazing. What is it? Body, body butter. So I guess it's something to like put on your body, but I didn't order that. I ordered this. Uh, now, I'm not the biggest fan of playsets. They take up a lot of room, 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 and um, some of the G1 playsets are also not that special to me that I need to have them. There are, there are a couple that I really like. This is one of them. That's the uh, Puff and Puff perfume. Um, Paradise or Palace? Palace. Puff and Puff Perfume Palace. In German, Duftparadies. That's why I mix it up. In German, it's called Paradies, and in English, it's Palace, not Paradise. Anyways, um, this one is not complete at all. Actually, it, it you know it looks like a perfume bottle. So at the top here would be setting such a like a this ball that you would squish, and then the perfume comes out. This thing it's missing, and I to be honest didn't buy it. Because really of the playset, um, but because of the things that come with it. How do you open this one up? There must be a door. Here? Ah, yeah. okay. Here, what? Ah. Okay. This is what came with it. Like for me, the, this is not the accessories that came with the. Um, Playset because this playset uh, it's from year seven, so from or from, from year eight, but I don't know, but it's definitely from uh, 88. Uh, that's when it was released, and it came with like I think over 20 different accessories, also like a, like a table, you know, it's like a beauty salon, some, something like this. Lots of you know, hair uh, accessories and stuff that you could put on the pony. Um, I think not really a lot of them are in here. This is more like a shell now to me, but I think it looks really cute, doesn't it? There's a mirror behind and there are some nice little stickers. Oh, so it's 1988, so that's my birth year. Um, and it was pretty like cheap uh, for that I got a lot of accessories for this. So actually I bought it more for the accessories and then this came with me because I think I got it for 15 euro or something and there are a lot of accessories in there and usually when you buy pony uh, combs and brushes they are like, I don't know, 
at least two euro or th three euro or something a piece and if you cut it down to whatever then it's like one euro and then it's free or whatever so um, but I think there are two accessories in here that really belong to the playset. I think these two, yeah. So one of my beloved uh, I love you barrettes that I will definitely put on my um, Princess Brush and Grow ponies. But I think this, the dark uh, pink one, the pink, dark purple, pur I can't say <laughs> any colors anymore. The dark yellow one definitely came with the playset. And then this little kitty uh, hair pick. Um, that these two came with a playset, so I'm very happy to have those. And then there are two combs that I think are Barbie, probably. I don't know, it just says Hong Kong, and this one says Italy. Interesting. Um, I don't know if they're really Barbie, it could be, but they're definitely not My Little Pony. If you know what they are from, tell me. <laughs> It's sometimes very difficult to find out, but my guess is that they are Barbie, but they are really nice and I love um, toy combs and brushes anyways. And now the rest is all My Little Pony. So there are two of these uh, sun picks that I have almost none of. I think I have one in blue, but now having like two more is like amazing. I think the yellow one came with, um, ah, diff it's difficult. Um, some of the um, Windy Wings or Summer Wing ponies came with it. Um, maybe also buttons. Uh, this one definitely came with strawberry surprise, I know that. Or also with one of the um, Winnie Wing or Summer Wings, maybe Flurry or something. So these. Then uh, here is a pink, a light pink duck uh, comb. I'm not sure, I don't think that I have that one yet. Uh, might have come with baby tic-tac-toe. Um, this is lovely. This is one of the flower picks. Um, if it would have like painted in uh, um, colors here, then it could have been one from the Flutter Ponies. I think this one could all, almost be the one from um, from uh, Lily. But as it doesn't have any painted in details, I know that this one came with the uh, Loving Family Ponies from the Bright Bouquet family. So that's amazing. I have that family complete, so I will have the comb. Uh, then we have here a very dirty looks, uh, white flower uh, brush. This is my favorite style of brush to really go through Pony's hair. It's I think it's the best one. Um, this one, I think um, Blossom came with the white one. I think uh, the, the uh, concafeed version. Then also um, Megan and Sundance in different versions. So I think the twice as fancy version and also the normal version. Uh, depending on which country they were released, came with a white one, so it could be for Megan Sundance. Um, then we have another duck comb, a very bright pink one that came with Baby Glider. I have that pony, so now I have the comb. Um, here is this blue uh, shooting star rainbow comb. Not exactly sure, but I think some of the Twinkle Light ponies, like Galaxy, for example, had this. Uh, I also think some of, uh, I think one of the um, disco ponies, not the, they are called disco ponies in German, sorry, the Dance and Prance ponies also had these, so maybe it's from one of them. And they are two more um, here. This one is probably the rarest or the most thought after one of the lot here. I have it already. So, but yeah, it's from Barnacle, so one of the big brother ponies, the doggy. And then here's a bird one. I I think I don't have this dark, so it's a pretty dark yellow bird one that could also be the one that I have. I'm not sure, but some of the, um, the uh, tropical ponies like Hula Hula came with it, Baby Dots and Hearts. Yeah, nice. I think I could have this one. This one I definitely have. Uh, the other ones are definitely all new to me, so that was totally worth it. And getting this cool, this is also a pretty smallish G1 playset, it's pretty flat, so I can probably incorporate that into my pony display somewhat. So let's get to uh, one of the other mailers that I have here. And let's check which pony's in here. Oh, oh yeah, that's also a nice one. That's also something pretty special for me. Uh, because it's the first pony that I have in this pose. 
Oh, really carefully wrap the hair, etc. So, this is Magic Star. Let me free her from the neck and leg wrap. So Magic Star, as you can see here, is in a standing pose, so wearing pose, um, truly pose, I think also called, because there's also a pony uh, called truly in this pose. None of these ponies were released in Europe, so it's pretty difficult to get them. Actually, this is or used to be a so soft pony. Uh, it's from year four with this huge uh, release of so soft ponies. I don't know how many there were, almost 20 or something. Maybe I'm. It's more like 15, or I don't know. A lot of so soft ponies. They were flocked. They had this flocking over the whole body that made them, like, you know, fuzzy, um, but also made them lighter. So you did not see this crazy color underneath it. I mean, you saw the main color, but you did not see. Uh, the actual body color and also the symbol. Um, this one doesn't have the flocking anymore. I mean, I can see here and there parts of the flocking a little bit. Uh, so I probably have to uh, do a little bit of work on it, but it's almost deflocked, uh, which I love because I don't actually love the, um, the sauce of ponies. I think they look I don't know, I just don't like the look of uh, flocked ponies. So I'm happy that someone already did all the work on this beautiful pony. Yes, some of the um, So Soft ponies had releases over in Europe as uh, non So Soft ponies. So in general, then they were not flocked at all and already had the crazy cool colors. But this pony, So Magic Star, came in a different pose over here. It just came in the normal. Um, uh, Tootsie pose, so not one that's standing up like this. Oh, I love it. These ponies actually, you know, you see that they have holes in here, so they came with a little see through platform that you would put them on so they would stand up better. But to be honest, I think they also stand up on their own, okay ish. Uh, in the hairline, you can see that there's still a little bit of flocking. Then here and there are some little parts also over the symbol here. There's a little bit flocking left. Um, you don't see these ponies over here very often. So I was very surprised when this one showed up on eBay uh, for a like normal price, like a usual, um, like uh, it was not 15, but it was not 20, something in between, maybe 17 or 18 or 16 or something. And I, it was a buy now price. I snatched it up immediately. Um, and now I have her. So Magic Star deflocked from uh, 1980, 85, 86, around that time. As you can see, she's perfectly standing up very well. So there's no problem. It's a little, oh yeah, okay. She probably does have a tail rust. So I wanna, will open her up and that. Oh my goodness, this color. Mm. Let's take this one. Okay, yeah, there are two ponies in here. I remember this was an eBay auction. Well, bought both of them were different eBay auctions. And this person also is still putting up lots and lots of ponies on eBay, always starting at $4.99, which makes it. Oh, I think she still smells, uh, which which makes it possible to get good prices on them. Some of these ponies still get up to somewhere over there on the moon, uh, price-wise, but some of them are pretty reasonable. <sighs> oh my goodness, she is, she's still smelling sweet, because she's from the Sunday Best Ponies. So let's put this down here, over here. Yeah, she smells. So sweet. And none of my Sunday best ponies uh, have the have the smell anymore. This is um, a Coco Berry, or um, I think in the UK she had a different name. She was called um, Chocolate Chip, and I think in German um, Schokostückchen. So I mean, she doesn't look like chocolate at all. <laughs> um, she is the European version. Uh, you can see that because she's got the purple hair. Uh, the American version 
has pink hair, so the fading pink hair. I would love to get my hands on that one because I actually like the color combination a little bit more. Um, but for some strange reason, this one is way more expensive usually. Uh, because you know, European version, da da da. It's almost the only one that you see over here. I have never seen the pink haired one for, for sale anywhere. So, but still the people say, well, that's the rare, rare one, that's the European exclusive one. So, but I uh, won the auction and I think it was a reasonable price around 12 euro something, 12, 50, 12, 80, blah. So that's a good price for, for the very sweet pony. Oh, and I love that the paint on the symbol is uh, still there. Uh, the Sunday Best Ponies have these sculpted on 3D symbols that I love. Um, I'm slowly getting there. It's now my fourth pony of the six pony set. Uh, they are from year six, so 87, 88. Uh, that was their release here. I love this pose. Um, this is the uh, powder pose looking up high in the unicorn. Pretty dirty, but correct hair length, uh, no paint rub, and I think no discoloration at all. Just a little bit like dirty, that's everything. And she still smells sweet. Oh, Coco Berry. In here. Oh my goodness, yeah. I knew that this one would be in a very bad condition. What's with the hair, oops. Mm, mm, yum, 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 yum. I don't know. Blah. And pretty yellow. I knew that, but I also got this pony for a very good price. This is Chief. Chief is uh, from the Big Brother ponies. You can see that he's a guy. It's a male pony. Um, actually, he completes now my let's call it European, not European. German, my German um, um, a Big Brother Pony set because we just had three from the first set and the three from the second set meshed together um, and I have all of those now. Chief is now the last one from, from, from these ponies. The Big Brother Ponies, you never get them for cheap, you know, and um, especially when they have their head and their handkerchief. No, never. Well, they have bandana or whatever that is. Um, and I just, I just, I'm not willing to give like 40 euro or something for these ponies. When they are not rare, they often show up. Um, <laughs> this one, really bad condition. Not many people bid on it. I got him for 8 euro or 8 euro 40 or something. Um, so I'm really happy to have him now i have to do quite a bit of work on him um yeah the year he was released is year five or year six let me check year six so um 87 um this is also the year in general that the uh, big brother ponies were released he is super yellow. Let's see if I can get him white again or if he just wants to stay a little bit more yellow. That's totally okay. I don't know what, what someone did with the hair. I think it's just paint in the hair. Like, you know, water paint that children try to color their ponies hair or something um, because it's really stiff. I'm 100% sure I can get that out. And then there are lots of like spots, but they look as if I could get them off. So, The only thing that I think could be an issue is that he will still be yellow. But at least I have him such a sweetie. Oh, he's got like um, orange eyes. He's a fire firefighter, so that's why he has this, you know, I don't know what you call that. We just have two packages left. And I know that they kind of belong together. Um, one is an Etsy order, this little uh, envelope here, and then this, which is also something very special. Yes, as I said, that's kind of a very special pony, unboxing lots of special things, mail orders, completer ponies, uh, ponies that I never had in a, a 
Okay, then this pose. Boy ponies, a place head, and one of my childhood ponies. This is the last pony that I'm I was missing to get back all my childhood ponies. I did not have many. I think I had around 10 because I I say around because I'm not exactly sure if these were all of them that I had. I might have had some more that I just cannot really remember. Um, this one, yeah, she's also not in a good condition and she is like missing the main part actually. It's Moon Jumper. Moon Jumper actually is one of the Windy Wing ponies. So a winger pony with these butterfly wings. You know, like this. For some reason, I don't actually know the reason, Moon Jumper has become the most expensive one of the set. I don't actually know why. Uh, he is not rarer than the other ones. It is a normal release because the Winnie Wing ponies, they're from year 7, so from 88 until 89. They were released worldwide. So the Summer Wings, for example, they were not really released in, in Germany or in Europe, I think. No, I think in Germany, not, but in Europe, yes. But anyways, this is just like the second set of the Winger ponies. So the Windy Wings, they were released worldwide, everywhere. And uh, Moonjumper also often shows up. On, on, um, on, you know, the interwebs for sale. But she always gets very, very expensive, like around the 50 euro range, I would say. Like, n n nobody knows why, because it's not rarer than the other ones. It's not a mail order. It's, to be honest, I don't even know the color combination is not even the most special from the set. I mean, um, um, Cool Breeze here, for example, has a way more special color combination. I think she's the second most expensive one from the set. Okay, get it. But I wanted Moon Jumper so bad because I had her as a child. Uh, when I was on vacation in, uh, in the region in Germany, Harz, I exactly remember that was the year before I got to school, so I was like five years old or something, or maybe I was already six, but uh, there was this flea market when we were there and we went and my grandparents bought two or three ponies there. One of them was um, a talk a lot, a, a talking pony and one of them was Moonjumper. <laughs> and now I have her again. She is like, ugh. The hair is cut and short and super frizzy, frizzy the, the tail as well and you know, the body is okay, but someone cut the wings or I don't know how, how what they did. I think they are cut. Um, she, like her, her symbol is she's got this crescent moon at her, um, like, and there's also this moon, this moon, this cow jumping over the moon. Uh, this goes back to a, you know, a folk uh, story, I think in English folk story um, and I don't know maybe people it, it reminds people of Sailor Moon or I don't know why this pony is so damn expensive um, otherwise if she wouldn't have been my my childhood pony I was not on the hunt for her um, yeah I got her super cheap um, I think I paid around five euro or something for her um, nobody else bid on this auction and I was the only one and I think it started at five euro or something so uh, I snatch her up because I know that I can of course rehair her that, that's not a big problem the body is still okay and I know that there are people selling uh, replacement wings also for the winger ponies as soon as I have won this auction I went to Etsy and ordered this this is from uh, the Etsy seller um, Shadows on the Moon. Uh, I think she's also on um, Instagram at uh, Shadows on the Moon Art. Pretty like well known in the pony um, 
community. She's from the UK, so this came from the UK, but you know, it's just a small envelope, so that didn't cost a fortune. And here they are. Um, these are directly made to as a moon jumper, it says moon jumper, um, to be replacement wings for moon jumper. So I will be able to get her wings again. They are not exactly the same because they're a little bit more shimmery, um, a little bit more metallic-y uh, shimmer to, to them or shine to them. Um, but that's maybe even more beautiful. That's the correct, um, you know, layout of, of the stripes, etc. So and the correct colors. With a handwritten note. Thank you, Laura. Uh, love Sarah Ann. So she's called Sarah Ann Shadows on the Moon. I will definitely link the Etsy shop down below. She has more than these replacement wings. She does other, you know, um, replacement um, bandanas for ponies or I don't know, other accessories. Um, and well, that, that, that even didn't cost a lot. That was four euro ninety for them. So that's totally reasonable. And uh, her, her work is really good. She also has custom wings that, that look more special or something. Uh, all I wanted were wings for my moon jumper. And now I have them. And I hope. So I have just one super, super, super big box left. Um, I won't be able to get this in frame. There's a place that in there. <laughs> and I don't know how I can get this here on the table, but it's in three parts. And it's the lullaby nursery. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, let's talk about how I got this. Um, the setter, I think originally I didn't even want a lot for this set. It's not very not complete at all. There are so many things missing. And here's something else in. Um, all of the accessories are missing. You know, this is actually uh, the baby pony playset. You know, I will put it together for you. <laughs> um, uh, some of the stickers, so the decals are not on anymore. Um, it is a little bit discolored. Um, there's no accessories at all. Um, but the seller made me an offer on eBay. And I did not. Uh, I did not um, like take the offer because I was like, oh, I have no idea where to put it. Um, and then the time ran out for for this offer. And at that time, I had made up my mind that I wanted it actually. So I approached the seller. Um, offers on this playset were not possible anymore. But the seller said, hey, why don't you get? Because I said I, I'm also interested in something else. Because then I said, uh, sent her an offer for this other thing, still in the box, and um, we made a like made it cheaper than together. And then I got this for I actually don't remember, but it was like originally around 15 euro, and then it was like maybe 10 or something. So, um, because I have an idea where to put it, because this. I have seen people having this directly on their pony shelves and then putting ponies in there as a display piece. I want to try that because that's a good size for fitting baby ponies in there. So, <laughs> this is what it looks closed. You can see the My Little Pony is just halfway there and the rest is missing. Um, this appears very often, you know, in the My Little Pony magazines. You have seen that if you are following my channel for very, very often already in there. Uh, it has this baby bottle, this 3D baby bottle. It's like the door, but this doesn't really open up like a door. And then it looks like these building blocks with the letters. Some of them are missing some of the decals here. Um, and then you open it up like this. It has this, you know, pin for diapers on there, and it opens up like oh my goodness, like this. Um, 
and then there is space for putting the ponies. Actually, I mean, this is a pretty early playset, it's from year 3, so uh, 84, and uh, it came with baby uh, Tilly Wings. So, this is the pony that goes to this playset. Okay, I've changed to position behind the camera, so I can probably show you better. Um, when you look at the roof, you can see that inside those scallops it's lighter pink and it gets more salmony on the outside. That's the discolored part, you know, the salmony part. Um, you can see that there are some stickers left and some are ripped off, you know, back there. Um, but some are totally intact. If you see that, that little mirror there up there, or whatever that's meant to be or the pony, um, clown, whatever that is, uh, <laughs> down there. Um, yes, the yellow um, like bottom um, or the yellow floors, that's totally fine. That was yellow to begin with. And um, yeah, the white actually on the outside. I love that part so much here. Um, that's also still very white. So that hasn't changed to yellow, that's, that's good. And yeah, this one actually came with so many accessories. You know, you had a bathtub, you you had um, baby powder and and the crib and and dangling things for hanging over the crib and so many you know brushes and and uh, I don't know how many how many accessories and also big ones. So really that you could put in there and uh, really play with the pony a lot. Nothing now is included, but that's totally okay because. I think, I mean, this one you can detach still and the other one as well, that's good. So I want to put it up around something something like this. And then, you know, you could put ponies in here. Here at least two uh, different ones, one top of each other. And I don't know, maybe that makes a good uh, display piece. Maybe not. If not, then I would just display it closed because, you know, that's what I love about it the most. Actually, this part from the front, I would maybe print another sticker to go there. Oops, to go here. Um, yeah, I love that playset. That is actually something that I really enjoy. You know, this, this uh, part here that looks like flower and baby bottle. Um, whereas, for example, for example, the show stable, I'm not a big fan of. It's just a big box. <laughs> um, yeah, but you see, I decided to get it. And there's one last thing that's actually, uh, you probably have seen it already, it was laying in here. Uh, that's the thing that I also bought from the same seller. And it's not a My Little Pony, but it is a pony. <laughs> uh, I got my second um, Magic Vito Pony. Aren't they like, Oh, so cute. Uh, they are also uh, from uh, Hasbro, same as um, My Little Pony, uh, though they do belong more into the Cabbage Patch uh, line. So they are also a little bit later released than the ponies. I mean, some ponies were still released in 1993, etc. But they are more from the uh, early 90s, so 1991 or 1993, or maybe even later. No, not 1991. I think they were released in 1993. That's what I wanted to say. So that's when ponies uh, were already phasing out. And um, they are chunkier. Uh, they are not uh, fakies. So they are a real pony thing. Um, they had several lines. This is from the Shimmer, Shimmer and Shine uh, line. And uh, this little girl is called Princess. So these uh, from the Shimmer and Shine line have pearlized bodies. Uh, they have kind of symbols, but this, these ones are more, you know, kind of all over the body. These um, like daisies here, also here at the forehead, and super nice glittery hair. So uh, same quality as My Little Pony. They are just a little chunkier and have different eyes. <laughs> they they stare into infinity. Uh, and that's what I always think because I have just one other. Um, one of those, one of the super glittery ones. And I really like them. And this is like such a beautiful color combination. Um, they look a little bit like cows. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, but 
uh, whenever I can get my hands on them for a reasonable price, I wanna collect these. Um, I think this one was also like around the 15 euro range and then with the discount a little bit less, so that's totally fine for me. Whoop! A lot of My Little Pony and something that's not My Little Pony. Yeah, guys, that's all. I think that has been another super long video, so thank you for everyone who watched until the end. Thank you for watching. Uh, Please stay tuned for my next videos. There will definitely be uh, more like flea market hunting, uh, Polly Pocket Haul, as I have teased already, and you know, some other stuff. So thank you for watching. See you real soon and may the ponies be with you. Bye.